guys so for today's video i thought i would finally do a video on full face of fenty makeup because fenty beauty launched into boots yesterday and our boots lincoln got the fenty so it's like i just wanted to film this video and show you the products and do a little run through on my also that if you feel like you want to go and purchase some you've seen them on i'm going to start with foundation however i didn't pick up their primer so i'm just going to use my regular primer it's just the ysl moisture glow just because it's been a while since I washed my face and it's a bit dry and if I don't put primer on I feel like it's just gonna go horrendous so yeah and you guys know this is a new thing for me I never ever used to use primer so I now use a primer just to let you know so the first product I'm going to go in with is their Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation and I got mine in 150 and there's a huge shade variety if you've had a look. So I'm just going to give it a good old shake shaker. And this comes in a glass bottle. So yeah. But I chose 150 because when I did my colour match, I felt like this was more like the sort of colour I wear day to day. 120 probably could have got away with as well. But... I like something a bit more on the warmer, like, tone side than cool tone, so, yeah. So, I'm just going to pop this on the cheeks, and I'm just going to zoom you in a little. Hey, guys. And I'm just using a stippling brush, and just popping this on the face. And I'm probably going to go in with a sponge after and blend it out because I always seem to put on my foundation with a brush and then blend out with a sponge because I feel like I prefer the finish of a sponge but then if I I just dropped my bronzer let's hope that hasn't smashed otherwise that's a great stop it's all good guys not smashed and with this foundation so from what I know from like training it is it doesn't oxidize on the face so whatever color you get matched to it will stay and it will dry down but i always just sort of blend it down my neck anyway just to be on the safe side because obviously with this being a first impressions if it was to oxidize and i haven't done this then i'm gonna be a bit orange by the end of the video and then so i've roughly blended that in with a brush so i'm just gonna go in with my beauty sponge and just sort of blend this out just to make sure it is seamless because that's the one thing I don't want is I don't want any lines. First impressions that has sat really nicely on my skin it's not clung to any dry patches I definitely feel like I got the right shade if, if I had got 120 I feel like that would have been very very pale so I don't know if you can see it's not clung to any of my spots and it's just covered really well so yeah so now i'm going to go in with so, oh, for god's sake i've dropped that bloody bronzer again i swear i'm like a liability me so the next thing i'm going to go in with is like contour and concealer so what i picked for this was their match six trio so you get a concealer a contour and a highlight in here because i personally didn't want to get the actual like cream highlight um cream concealer because I have loads of those. So these are magnetic, really handy for in your handbag, they can stay together, and yeah, that's all good. So you get a concealer shade, which I'm going to use first. And this is in the shade linen, which is the lightest one, and it just looks like this. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop some of this under the eye I've never used anything like that before so we're gonna see how it sort of blends out 
I mean, it's definitely not going to replace my regular concealer. I feel like if I had got the one in a tube, I probably would have liked it that little bit better, but it's done the job. It's sealed underneath my eyes and on any blemishes. I feel like that would be very nice for blemishes. And I'm really sorry about this lighting. The lighting keeps going really weird. <laughs> so, yes. But I'm, again, I'm just going to pat that out with the sponge just to make sure there is no lines because... That is like my worst fear with things like this. Now I'm going to go in with their contour stick. So I got the shade Amber in this trio. And to be honest, I won't lie, this really scares me. So let's see. To be fair, I've been saying for ages I want to do cream. Cream contour, so let's hope I like it. I mean, that's blended out a lot better than it had done. I definitely think if you are more on the pale side like me, that's a beautiful contour shade. Obviously, it's not for bronzing, but you all know that. It is genuinely your contour shade. So that's blended out really nice. I do feel like it's chiselled out my cheekbones that little bit. So that is always nice. And yeah, so now typically I would now go in with my bronzer. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got the bronzer in Private Island, which is an instant warmth bronzer. Now I got this shade because it was the second, it was the second darkest, uh, second lightest one, I think. It was for light to medium skin tone. So I didn't want the really, really pale one because it was more like, to me, a contour shade and I want to bronze, not contour. So I'm just blending this in. So that's added a really nice colour to my face without being too warm that it's like wow what the hell have you done to your face sort of thing it's just added a nice warmth to the cheeks definitely rate that bronzer now i'm going to go in with the last little stick which is in starstruck which is the highlight one and this looks beautiful so i'm just going to draw a line and then i think i'm just going to use my finger to pat it in and that would work really nice in the summer you know when you just want that subtle highlight as if you've just caught that sun without looking like glittery that's really nice and then I've got my most exciting thing which I'm so excited to try out is their highlighting palette so I've got the kilowatt Fenty Beauty Highlight in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. So this is the lightest one. And this is what it looks like. So, looks gorgeous. And I'm just going to use my Inglot 4SS Highlighting Brush. And I'm just going to mix. So, I'm going to put the Sheen one on first. Okay, that's pretty. To say that's just the sheen and not the actual highlight, that's gorgeous. So if you want a more subtle highlight, I'd go for like this side of the quad. And then I'm just going to go over the top with the proper... Oh, wow. Okay. I am sold. I'm of that on my inner corner. And honestly, I feel like I'm glowing from the gods right now. Now, for me, this feels really weird because I haven't got blusher on. So, she doesn't actually have any blushes. So, I am just going to add a little bit of my own blusher. Just because, for me, I feel like I can't go without blush. You guys know I love a blush. So, I'm just adding a really subtle cream blush in so that it's not too intense. But it's just going to for me, give me a bit of colour. 
and I know Rihanna's not really a big blush person that's why I'm just blending it out a little bit so that it is more like her makeup launch so now moving on to lips I got one of her lip paints in uncuffed and this was the shade that for me really caught my eye so I'm gonna try this and this literally I thought these were nail polish bottles and these have a really like unique applicator so I'm gonna see how this goes on So that is the lip paint on that has dried so quickly like that is literally dry amazing I really like that color I feel like I definitely picked the color that is very me I love a nude and I love like a ready brownie nude so yes so lastly I'm just gonna finish it up with one of her gloss bombs because I feel like I love a gloss and I feel like it'd be rude not to so I've got two shades here. So I've got Fussy and Fenty Glow. But for today's look, I think I'm going to go for Fussy because it's like closest to this lipstick, I think. And this literally smells like sweets. So I mean, I'm not advising you to eat it, but... <laughs> smells nice if I managed to eat some I wouldn't be sad so that is the makeup complete I just wanted to quickly run through what I thought of the products because I feel like it wouldn't be a proper like first impressions if I didn't tell you my actual opinions afterwards so for me the foundation has gone on beautifully it hasn't sat in any lines it hasn't creased at all it hasn't oxidised, it literally just looks soft matte like the name suggests. It's not clung to any of my dry patches around my spots. I definitely do feel like you need a primer under there. I feel like if without a primer it probably would be a little bit dry. So that's amazing. I feel like my cheeks just look so glowy and like J-Lo-esque. So I feel like the matchsticks were really nice, definitely unlike anything I've tried before. I do feel like the highlight one was a little bit dry and with the contour one you definitely have to use quite a dense brush to blend that out. I don't think it would blend out with a fluffy brush or like a sponge that well but I mean I'm going to have to experiment with that. It's like giving me a nice chiseled cheekbone not too warm on the skin the bronzer has gone on beautifully I highly recommend this bronzer if you are fair if you're in the shades sort of 100s to 200s I'd maybe go for this bronzer very nice the highlight is absolutely stunning like I literally I'm glowing from within the lip paint dried down really quickly and honestly went on so smoothly it didn't like crack in my lips, it didn't cling to my dry patches and then the lip gloss is just absolutely beautiful. The gloss balm is amazing and it smells like sweets and it's really glossy on the lips but at the same time it doesn't feel sticky like you know when you don't feel sticky. If you are around the Lincoln area definitely come into store, come and see us and we'll get you matched up. And yeah, we'll get you on the Fenty face because I definitely think that it is well worth the money. Personally, over overall price-wise, I don't think it's that badly priced. Like this look, definitely come in and see us. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And let me know down below in the comments if you have tried anything from Fenty before and what you thought of it. And yeah, I'd just love to know your guys' opinions or what you are wanting to try out and yeah let's just have a chat in the comments <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up click the subscribe button and join the family on here i would love that and if you want to be notified when i upload videos because youtube's playing games and doesn't always tell us 
then definitely click the little bell down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!